I don't like using the word the, the word essential, but there's a lot of people that are vital to making sure that things continue to run. Now approaching Bonnet Road and Lakeside Drive. I try not to work this two days in a row, you know, so it's everybody either work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. The hours are the same, but we're not driving the hours that we're supposed to, you know. So the, the city's doing a fine job of, you know, looking out for our safety uh, and, uh, you know, and our health so we can stay healthy and keep our passengers healthy. The passengers right now are supposed to be uh, essential as in to go to work, go to a grocery store, or go to a doctor's appointment is, is, what the, is, is what the riders are supposed to be right now. Are all of them that? No. Uh, have I felt threatened? No. Um, we sanitize the buses. Uh, we've, the, they've got it set up that we've maintained our uh, distance from the passengers that we serve. Um, it's, it's just been uh, different to have Iowa City so quiet, you know. We initially weren't sure if we would be considered a, you know, an essential business. And once we found out that we were, we decided that we would stay open. And uh, one of the first changes we made was to send one of our one of our vulnerable employees home, um, just because he it wasn't a good place for him to be, and he felt the same. And so he was on board with that. I mean, I have worried about, you know, what if I do get it? You know, how's it gonna? How am I gonna react to? having a virus like that and uh, I, all I can try to do is you know the best I can at you know not doing something that doesn't work towards protecting myself and the people around me to hopefully prevent uh, you know myself from getting it my immediate live-in roommate and you know the, the different things that are going on in my life I guess my parents and my co-workers and, and so it's a concern of ours to make sure that, that not only am I safe, am I safe and I'm, I'm healthy, but I'm also keeping the rest of my staff safe and healthy and their families as well. For the businesses that are not healthcare related, that are using PPE on a regular basis anyway, uh, regardless of a pandemic or any kind of diseases, it's uh, to the point where we're either reusing PPE or, or uh, you know, reusing masks, um, not necessarily disposable gloves, but uh, it's a concern on yeah. not being able to find any more, for one, and not knowing when any more is going to be available. And so there's a lot of uh, healthcare workers that use it on more regular basis and need it a little bit more, um, but that doesn't um, that doesn't negate the fact that there are businesses and there are. Uh, personnel that use it on a regular basis. I think as we get busier and as it gets warmer out, it might make it more difficult um, because we'll have our bay doors open. And so we'll probably end up putting some yellow chains or something that'll keep, you know, encourage people not to come in and signage so it encourages people to keep their distance, you know, and continue with the same basic uh, precautions that we've been using so far, which is locking the front door and taking payment over the phone and you know just encouraging drop people to drop it off and not wait some people just come in and are just fine with going up in the air for an oil change and then going back down they never even get out of their car which works okay you know I don't know if the insurance company would like that <laughs> it does work fine so. I don't want to say I enjoy working but I mean it's just a natural thing to do uh, this is it's a free country uh, we should be working we should be making a living uh, now granted we've got to be safe, things are going to change. Everybody's business is in trouble, so we need to open up so people can, again, like I said, make their living and then go support other people's livings and uh, make the world right if you can, you know? So, that's Definitely concerned that we might be opening up a little too, too quickly, and I just hope that people um, still take the same precautions and try to do the things that we're all going to need to do for the next 
several months for sure, and possibly even years, to get past this. And hopefully we can do it all together and, you know, basically stay safe and healthy.